Welcome, welcome to part two of grade four PEP examination. Parents ensure that your child watch this to the very end, very end. All right. It's for your own good. All right. So it says read in instructions. And this is part two of part two. Read inter read the introduction to the task below, then answer all the questions that follow. All questions must be written in this booklet, all right? So it's introduction to task. So first, you're going to read, and then you try to answer the question. Very challenging for you guys each. All right, it says starting a chicken farm. Your school wants to start a chicken farm in order to provide meat for the canteen and to raise funds for the school. There is a plot of unused land to the back of the school that the principal has identified to place a chicken coop for the farm, okay? So this is the instructions. You have been asked to help your principal. One, determine the number of chickens the coop will fit. Two, determine the number of feeders needed. Three, calculate the cost of the feeders needed. So that is a task. One, determine the number of chickens the coop will fit. Determine the number of feeders needed and calculate the cost. All right. So I say welcome to our cook and blah 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 blah. All right. The first thing it says the rectangular base of the chicken coop has a length of 10 meter and a width of 4 meter. So that's the first thing you are to do. What did you guys do? Type it in the comment section. All right. So it's supposed to be 10 meter, length 10 meter, and width 4 meter wide. So the first thing you want to do is to draw the coop, right? And notice they say it's rectangular base, all right? So let's count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we stop here. Four, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put my coop right here, away from everyone. I'm trying to make it straight as possible. So if it says rectangular, that means you're going to draw a rectangle, all right? So this is the measurement. It is four meters and the length is 10 meters. All right, so that's the first step. Next question says, what is the area of the base of the pool? So you are required to find the area of the rectangle. Now you can do this one out of two ways. You can either count all the the squares within this, right? Because it's actually meter square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We're not finished yet. One more row to go. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and the last one, 40. So I want you guys to tell me how else we could have get gotten 40. So the area would be 40 meters square. It means that 40 meters square, it will take 40 of them to cover the pool. All right, so that's task one. We draw, we draw the outline with length 10 meter and width four. We completed that and then this what is the area and we counted all the squares within it, all right? So what did you guys think we could have done it? done a shorter way. Leave that in the comment section. I might come back and, and I'm address. Number three says, each chicken needs a floor space of approximately half meter square, right? Each chicken need half meter, so look. That's all one chicken need in a half, right? So this is the one chicken and the two chicken. What is the maximum number of chicken that can fit in the coop? That is your coop. So this is your coop. Right, if one box 
Two chickens can hold in one box. How many would hold in 40? Right? So that is the 40 plus 40. So that's 80 chickens, right? Think about it. Half, they only need half. They don't need 80 chickens. Awesome, awesome. So we're getting somewhere. Let's go with the right button. So we have, or we could say 40 multiplied by 2. So you guys must read the question very carefully. Ensure that you understand what they're asking. If you're not sure, put up your hand. When somebody comes to you, let them read it. The table below shows the number of chickens that three parents wish to donate. Use the information to help you answer question four. So parent, Mrs. Gray, Mrs. White, and Miss Brown. Miss Brown is not married. Oh, Mr. White. Yeah, so it's Mrs. Gray, Mr. White, and Miss Brown. All right, so Mrs. Gray is married. She says she can give the number of chickens, which is 100. Mr. White said he can give 70, and Miss Brown, 50. All right, so let's look at number four. Based on your response in question three, which parent's donation would you suggest the school take? Answer that, guys, answer that. Come on, let's go. Based on the chicken coop, which size would you take? Let's go. All right, so I'm waiting and explain the reason for your choice. So in two minutes time, I will give my opinion on what I think. But remember, you're the one doing the exam. Go ahead and answer it, all right? Anyone online, just answer the question, all right? And give reason for your answer. Explain your choice. Why you choose whatever you choose. If you choose Mrs. Gray, what's the reason for choosing Mrs. Gray? If you choose Mr. White, why choose Mr. White? Or if you choose Miss Brown, why choose Miss Brown? All right. All right, so let's go back to the question tree. So this is what you are required to do. You're going to go back to question tree and say no, all right? So it says each chicken need a floor space of approximately half meter square. What is the maximum though? So we decided that it can hold 80 chickens, right? So this is what they want us to do. So you can hold 80 chickens, let's go. So if Miss, Mr. Mrs. Gray offering 100, but I would not take the 100 because we will took, won't have space to put 20 of the chickens, all right? I would take this one because look, 70 is close to 80, right? So you can hold the 70 and have a little more space. I would not take the 50 because I will be losing 20 when I can get 20 more, all right? So I will choose Mr. White. So you tell him, say, Mr. White. And the reason, 70 is the best choice. And you can elaborate on that. You tell him about the space and all of those, all right? All right, so let's look at number five now. The chickens need feeders from which to eat. So this is what they eat out of now. 10 chickens use one feeder. 10 chickens use one feeder. So 10 of a chicken is gonna eat out of one feeder. Based on your response from question four, how many feeders would be needed from the farm? Now, what happened? We have 70 chickens, right? Since we work with Mr. White, we have 70 chickens. So what number, would you, how many feeders would you need if 10 chickens need one feeder. How many feeders would you buy for the 70 chicken if 10 feeders, if 10 chickens need one feeder? All right. And that would be seven. So you divide it by this. And it says show you're working. There you go. Can you divide it by that? So all right, so let's look at number five. Or is it number six? I don't even know. Number six. 
A farm store has two options when selling the feeders. The options are outlined in the table below. Use the information in the table to help you answer question six. All right, so option A, feeders are sold individually, meaning one, I don't know why them are, I'm going to add that in crap here, you know, man. I don't have to say a prayer one in like one of you in a class. Feeders are sold individually, meaning one. Feeders are sold by the case. Or one feeder costs $300. And in this case, one case has five feeders and one case costs $1,300. Which option is better for the school? Explain your choice. Again, guys, go ahead and try that one. Which would you choose and why? Come on, let's go, let's go, guys, let's go. But did you guys choose? Did you choose option A, where feeders are so individually, 100, one feeder costs 200? Or did you choose option B, where five feeders sell in a case and one case costs 1,300? All right, listen to this reason. I would choose option A. Let me tell you why. Since I only need seven, so I need seven. So if I'm gonna buy from option B, the minimum that I can buy for the seven chickens would be 10. So option B would be 10. And that would cost us two case, right? So it would be two times 1,300. Now school don't make money now when they don't have to. Let's look at option A now. It's individually, so I can just buy seven times 300, right? So I'll spend two thousand that you could buy the ten, which is the two case, and you have three left over. And but I don't think that's what the question is about. Um, I think this is kind of challenging though. But guys, we have come to the end. Um, do ensure that you look out for more videos for watching. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. All right. Here, number grades five and six coming up. Um, have limited space to ensure that you get your kids sign up with me. Or if there's more than one, your children sign up with me as quick as possible. All right. This is not spending them out. No doubt. See you guys in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Please ensure that you are subscribed. Please ensure that you like the video. All right. Go for my next video, guys. Turn on your notifications so you can get the videos same time. I'm out. No doubt.